Hello everyone, welcome back to New England Graveyard. Jason is back and I am here at Winchester Hill Cemetery in Hastings on Hudson in New York. And I am here with legendary, and I don't say that lightly, musical composer, George Gershwin. Best remembered for his compositions with his equally talented lyricist older brother, Ira Gershwin, they were responsible for such hit songs as Someone to Watch Over Me, Love Walk In, Love Here to Stay, Rhapsody in Blue, and such musicals uh, as Of The I Sing, the first musical ever to win a Pulitzer Pro Prize, and Porgy and Bess, born Jacob Gershowitz in Brooklyn, New York City, a Russian Jewish immigrant parents, he immediately attracted to music as he grew up and could play popular and classical music on piano by ear. In 1913, he quit school to devote time to studying music and began composing pieces for the stage. In 1919, he had his first big hit, Swanee, which was popularized by Al Jolson and his first Broadway show, La La Lucille, in 1924. He teamed up with his older brother, Ira, and the pair became the dominant Broadway success team for the next decade with such musical hits as Lady Be Good, OK, Funny Face, Strike Up the Band, Girl Crazy, and Of the I Sing. Gershwin's songs would find their way into Hollywood movies and in numerous remixes by popular singers continuously after his death. In 1926, George came across Du Bois Heward's novel Porgy and used it as the inspiration for his most famous work, the musical Porgy and Bess, an instant success hit. In 1937, he fell in love with actress Paulette Goddard, who, then married, who was then married to movie producer Charlie Chaplin. When she would not leave her husband, he was heartbroken. He died a month later from a brain tumor after five hours of emergency surgery to remove the tumor. In 1973, the United States Postal Service honored him with an eight cent postage stamp in the American Art Series. In 1985, Congress awarded a Congressional Gold Medal to the Gershwin Brothers to honor their contribution to the American spirit. In 1998, the two men won a posthumous special Pulitzer Prize, which was awarded on the centennial of his birth. So he is inside here. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but George is over here on the left wall of this mausoleum. Of, it, of this little mausoleum. Can't really tell, it's very shady. I'll do my best. I apologize if you can't really see it. But there's numerous rocks here, which, and coins, which show that he has been well visited. And as well as a songbook. Uh, very easy to find. There's the entrance to the cemetery in the office. And here he is. So I'll just pan around. So many mausoleums in this particular cemetery. So that is George Gershwin. Uh, I will be following up with uh, Ira in a future video. Be sure to check that out. And until then, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell so you know whenever I uh, upload a video. And I uh, will see you all on the next one. See you then. Bye.